What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Ah, oh, man, you know, AB, Anheuser Bush, anti bitches. So, Adrian Broner, he took to his Instagram and he posted a picture of him side by side with Manny Pacquiao. And in this picture, this pick stitch, he's towering over Pacquiao. I don't know if he's that much taller than Pacquiao. But let me read the comment and I want to give some brief thoughts on it. Adrian Broner said this A lot of people, they got the game fucked up. I wasn't trying to fight this guy just to get a nice payday. I was trying to beat his ass and send him away from boxing. I ain't tripping that I didn't get the fight. But all people say to me is that would have been a good payday. Fuck a payday. I wanted the victory. My my legacy, it, it mean more to me than some fucking currency. Hashtag about billions. Now on to the next one. I'm going to make all you critics eat your words about me. So he says... He didn't want it just for merely a payday. He wanted to send Pacquiao away, beat his ass. He knows it's a meaningful fight. So I want to know from you guys, what do you think about that? Did Broner have a chance to beat Pacquiao? What do you think of Pacquiao picking Bradley instead of a younger guy like a Broner or a Terrence Crawford or even a Khan, a guy he's used to sparring with in the past? Um, let me know. I think it was. I think all of the fights that were quote unquote candidates, from Terence Crawford to Mir Khan to Adrian Broner, all the potential quote unquote candidates that Top Rank was looking at in Pacquiao, I think they were all better options than the Bradley third fight. Just because Bradley's a good fighter, but I think there's other options for both of them, and I would rather see Pacquiao in there with a young, fresh person. You know what I'm saying? Coming off the heels of the Mayweather loss, I want to know what that did psychologically. So if you fight a guy you already have a win over you know what i mean and in some people's eyes two wins over that that doesn't necessarily prove much to me you know what i mean brad like i said stylistically some people do fare well with certain styles like i wouldn't want to see pacquiao keep fighting eric morales a fourth time and a fifth time and stuff like that you know what i mean but i don't know how how pacquiao's style would mesh with amir khan for example or terence Crawford, or even a broner you know what i'm saying I would want to see that because I haven't seen it before. And that's just, that's how I am when it comes to rematches. Unless the rematch, like Orlando Salido versus Rocky Martinez, they're doing a third fight this year. Makes sense. Because their first fights were wars. The second fight, I thought Salido beat him and he, he, he got robbed or whatever on the scorecards. And they said it was a draw. So, you know what I mean? You got to clear the air. But this is a different Pacquiao, Bradley. Bradley, like I said, he's a hell of a fighter, but... Only seeing the Brandon Rios only performance under Teddy Atlas, I don't know what I need to know to see how much Bradley has improved because just one fight before that, he got rocked by a 140 pounder and Jesse Vargas in the 12th round. Now, he was dominating for 11 rounds, but it's still he had a, that scare. You know what I mean? It's like Sergio Martinez when he got clipped by Chavez Jr. after doing so great. People still remember that. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say that Bradley is. Um, Oh, he's 10 times smarter when he's fighting and he's not getting lured into the wrong fight like he did with Ruslan, like he switched up and got rocked by Jesse Vargas, etc. So just based only on the brand of Rios, I don't think that's enough to have catapulted um, him to a, a Pacquiao third fight that we've already seen twice. And whether you love him or hate him, you got to give Broner credit. He has a pair and he calls out people. He's not afraid. I truly think he's down to fight these people. Pacquiao, he, he said he won in Maidana after he got uh, beat up in the first fight. He said he won the Maidana rematch, and it didn't look like Maidana was interested in rematching him. I mean, obviously, he got the Mayweather fights, but um, Lucas Matisse, he called him out. Lucas Matisse said, oh, he's no longer a champion. Why should I fight him? Um, he won in the Pacquiao fight. So you got to give him credit because there's other guys in boxing who aren't like that. You got Billy Joe Saunders who beat Andy Lee, won the title, and it looks like he wants no parts of Triple G. So... Uh, kudos to Broner for at least pushing and making it a scene because eventually you're going to call somebody out. Like he called out Marquez and Pacquiao and all them for years. You're going to call someone out and they're going to call your bluff or try to. And then that's when we'll really see. So some people say, oh, he doesn't really want it. But if it's if it's if that's the case, then it should be easy to disprove what he's saying by taking up his challenge. Drop in the comment section. Let me know what you think of Broner's thoughts. 
Make sure you like my video, hit the subscribe button as always, hate, comment, and subscribe to the next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come, thank you guys for your support, Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.